Hi there, my name is Sam from Versus.com and welcome to a new comparison video between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. We are comparing both phones in terms of display, performance, camera, design and battery. Stay tuned and find out which phone is in our opinion the better phone. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start straight away with our review, let the facts speak. Display. The P40 Pro Plus has a 6.58 inch display with a 1200p resolution. The very accurate colors are created by an OLED screen. The 6.58 inch display therefore measures 16.7 cm diagonally with a pixel density of 441 ppi. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus has a refresh rate of 90Hz. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a 6.9 inch display with a 1440p resolution. It is fitted with an OLED screen which does a fantastic job. The 6.9 inch display therefore measures 17.5 cm diagonally with a pixel density of 496 ppi. The Note 20 has the 2020 must have feature of an impressive 120Hz refresh rate, but this is not possible with the highest resolution. By comparing these two displays it got pretty clear who the winner is. The Note's display is bigger, has a higher resolution and pixel density and is also able to handle the 120Hz refresh rate. But as I already mentioned, not with the highest resolution. Therefore the first point goes to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Performance The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra model that we use in this comparison has the Samsung Exynos 990 chip with 2x 2.7GHz and 4x2.4GHz and 2x1.95GHz for a solid performance. Keep in mind that this is a European version. The Note 20 Ultra version, which is sold in the USA, China and South Korea has also the Snapdragon 865 Plus built in. This phone has 12GB RAM with 256GB internal storage capacity. There's also a version with 500GB internal storage capacity on the market. The storage capacity can be expanded by up to 1TB. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus has 512GB internal storage capacity and is equipped with its in-house produced Huawei Kirin 990 5G chip with 2x2.86GHz and 2x2.36GHz and 4x1.95GHz and has 8GB RAM. The storage capacity can be expanded by up to 256GB. Both phones have the company's own processor built in, so it's Exynos against Kirin, but the Huawei has with 8 8GB less GB RAM. Is it still able to compete against the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? Let's take them into the N22 benchmark test and find out who's outperforming who. The tests are divided into three phases. A performance test of the RAM, a test of how the device is handling two-dimensional graphics and an endurance test of how the device is handling 3D graphics. Even though the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a weak Exynos 990 chip inside, it is still in this case by far the stronger phone. That is why it takes home the point in this category. Camera. The Note 20 Ultra has three main cameras, an ultra-wide, a wide-angle and a telephoto camera. The cameras have a resolution of 108 megapixel, 12 megapixel and another 12 megapixel. The front camera's resolution is 10 megapixel and it is built into the hole punch notch in the upper center of the screen. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra records 8K videos at a maximum of 24 frames per second. And of course it has image stabilization for video. The P40 Pro Plus has five main cameras. The Ultra Wide with 40 megapixel, the Ultra Vision with 50 megapixel, two telephoto with 3 and 10 fold optical zoom and 8 megapixel each, and a 3D vision camera. You can find two front cameras in the upper left corner of the screen. The first one has a 32 megapixel resolution, and the other one is an IR depth vision camera. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus camera system was co engineered with Leica, and it's a beast when it comes to taking good pictures. It also records 4K videos at a maximum of 60 frames per second. It also has image stabilization for video. Both phones have good camera systems, but which one is actually the better system? Let's take it to our daytime camera test and let's find out which one does a better job. Even with a problem from the S20 Ultra that Samsung fixed in their Note 20 Ultra models, the camera doesn't even come close to Huawei's P40 Pro Plus camera system. It still takes good and sharp pictures, but the pictures from the P40 still look better. The P40 Pro Plus has a 3-fold and a 10-fold optical and a 100-fold digital zoom feature. The Note 20 Ultra on the other hand has a 5-fold optical and a 50-fold digital zoom. But the zoom shouldn't be a deciding factor. It is fun to use but not really necessary. When it comes to slow motion, Huawei sets the tone with 960 frames per second in Full HD and up to 7680 frames in HD. 
The Note 20 Ultra offers 240 frames per second in Full HD and in HD mode up to 960 frames, which still records really great slow motion videos. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus features one of the best cameras we've compared so far. No wonder that it won again in this comparison. The Note 20 still has a great camera, but the Huawei P40 Pro Plus takes home the win in this one, and therefore rightfully deserves this point. Design Samsung uses a very elegant matte finish for its Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The triple camera system is well positioned on the upper left corner on the back of the phone. Unfortunately, like the S20 series, the camera bump sticks out a lot. The smartphone weighs 208 gram, it's roughly 16.48 cm long, 7.72 cm wide and 0.81 cm deep. It has a USB-C connector. The IP68 rating makes it also water and dust resistant. The Note 20 Ultra uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint scanner which is built into the screen to unlock the phone. Both technologies work great. One special feature that the Note has is the built-in S Pen, which comes handy if you like to draw, take notes, etc. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus has a clean design with a glossy finish. The 5 camera system is well positioned on the upper left corner on the back of the phone. The camera bump is pretty big and it sticks out a lot. The smartphone weighs 209 gram, it's roughly 15.82 cm long, 7.26 cm wide and 0.89 cm deep. It has a USB-C connector and thanks to an IP68 rating it's water and dust resistant. The P40 Pro Plus uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint scanner which is built into the screen to unlock the phone. The face recognition technology works perfect at daylight and also good in a weak light environment. In our opinion the Galaxy the Note 20 has a more high-end feel to it. The matte design gives it a more robust and valuable touch. Still, both phones have the ugly out-of-the-phone sticking camera bump. But the Note 20 also has the S Pen which gives it a bonus point. Overall, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra won this category fair and square. What do you think? Do you prefer Huawei's design or that of the Galaxy? Be sure to post your decision in the comments below. We'd love to hear your opinion. Battery. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra when fully charged has 4500 mAh. On the other hand, the P40 Pro Plus when fully charged has 4200 mAh and supports reverse charging. The Note 20 has a slightly bigger battery, but does it last as long as the P40 Pro Plus? Let's see what our day-to-day -day usage test tells us. Even though the P40 has a smaller battery, it lasts longer than the Note 20 Ultra. This point therefore goes to the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Like always, it depends on the way you use your phone and the settings you use it in. Conclusion Let's find out which phone had the best results and wins this comparison by going through all the categories. The first point went to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, because it has a better display. In terms of performance, the Note 20 also won because it had the best result on the Antutu benchmark test. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus outperformed the Note's camera system and therefore won this point. The design point clearly won the Note 20 Ultra. The last, but for a lot of people a very important category, the battery life, surprisingly won the Huawei. It lasted long in our day-to-day -day usage test. In the end, all points counted together lets Galaxy Note 20 Ultra win this comparison. It won 3 out of 5 points. And as always when comparing the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, we want to let you know before buying this phone that due to the not existing Google Play Store, it is really nerve wracking to install apps that you usually use on your smartphone. Therefore we actually wouldn't recommend buying this phone at this moment. Naturally we view more than these 5 categories covered here. If you want to see the full comparison follow the link to our website you can compare to 7 different smartphones at versus.com. But before you do that, please post your comments and let us know which phone you think ranks first. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Take care and see you soon.